tissue has begun to die. Or it's inflammatory infiltration. Find anything? We're at an impasse. Look here at the margin. Subcutaneous fat and fascial necrosis. Sean was right. Let's go try to save her hand. Clamp. Whoa. That is not good. Muscles weak. Clamp slid right through the fascia. Murphy, pull the skin back. Smells like rotten eggs. There's only tissue damage. If we debrief her hand carefully, we can preserve some mobility and dexterity. He's gonna need close monitoring post-op tonight. Scissors. Her BP's dropping out. 73 over 51. Rate is spiking to 137. Hang an IV, Stanley Bullet. Need a 12 lead. Necrosis has migrated. She's septic. There's definite infiltration of the bone. We're gonna have to amputate her arm. Polish the bone to help stump healing. Grasp. The margins appear to be clean. There's still a small chance microbes may have spread to her organs. If they did, then her mortality rate just increased exponentially. What if we put her in hyperbaric oxygen therapy now? Oxygen's toxic to bacteria. There's a lot of things that could go wrong in there. We wouldn't be able to decompress the chamber in time to help her. We wouldn't have to wait to help her if someone goes in with her. I'll do it. Okay. Get the chamber ready. Lung tissue looks normal. And they're healthy appearing bronchi. Nothing yet. Damn it, tore a lobar artery. BP's 81 over 49. Oxygen sats 93. Heart rate is going up. She is tanking. Parker, I need more suction. I can't see a thing in here. We need to do an open thoracotomy now. Brown cracker chest. Temblade and a rib spreader. Only 7.18 cubic meters in there. How does it feel? It's fine. I thought it might feel claustrophobic for someone neurotypical. It is. Got it. It's still bleeding. Stroke volume just bottomed out. Rapid infused four liters of whole blood. Get ready to start cardiac massage. Wait, I think I have an anchor in the arterial wall. Stroke volume is rising. BP increasing 90 over 60. Pulse is 90 and regular. She's stable for now. This was a mistake. We need to close her up as soon as possible. It doesn't make any sense. Her arterial wall shouldn't be this fragile. Something else has caused it to thin out. What else is going on in here? Brown, I need more light. Yeah, see that? A localized granuloma in the right lower lobe. You think it's cancer? Not sure, but something's in there. Parker, track the lung. It's a Lego. Riley must have inhaled it years ago. It settled in your lung, became encased in inflammatory tissue. Your body's immune response attacked it, making you progressively more sick over the years. It's small, thin, and made of plastic. There was no way of seeing it on any of the imaging. Ugh, this is so gross. I'm gonna make it into a necklace. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Excuse me. Your 
Great. We just need you to sign the consent forms. Donation carries several risks, including blood clots, infection, hemorrhage, lung collapse, and possibly death. There are also lifelong risks, such as high blood pressure, which can cause a heart attack, and protein-losing nephropathy, which can impair your remaining kidney, leading to the need for a transplant yourself. I'm happy to sign the forms on one condition. I'm not selling the business. I told you ten times, we're not taking that offer. Either sell or buy me out at the same price. You know I can't afford that. I can't afford anything. Look, Dad left you in charge, but all of my money is tied up in it. I got investment opportunities. I got things that I'm excited about. Dad left me in charge because when things got tough, you took off to college while we rebuilt. And now you want to cash in? We'll both cash in. The deal I negotiated is way over market. I don't care how good the deal is. I like what I do. And I like my kidney. Seems we both need to make a sacrifice. I'm not selling. He's exploiting the situation. Yes, he's entitled to. You don't think an organ donation should be an altruistic act? Mm -hmm. Can it be? A majority of donors do it to make their own lives more worthwhile, and almost a quarter do it to relieve guilt over a past mistake. Redemption meaning sure, but not money. So you never take an opportunity to get ahead at someone else's expense? I'm competing, not trafficking organs. I need Armando's kidney, and I need it without getting dragged into their family drama. Which is why I have residents. So you two find a way to make it happen. It's a federal crime to barter a human organ for anything of value. I'm not selling Santiago anything. You're receiving money from a third party in exchange for your kidney. He's receiving money from a third party for his business. So is his brother. He should love him enough to not... I love him enough to give him a kidney. He should love me enough to accept an offer that would improve my life too. I mean, it's a much lower ask than a vital organ. You're not allowed to ask for anything. Are you saying that if he agrees, you're not going to perform the surgery? He doesn't agree. He will. Everything in life is transactional, and in this case, I've got all the leverage. Leverage? It's what you have that they need. It's how you shift a deal in your favor. You guys have no leverage and no cards to play. Yes, we do. I don't believe you're willing to let your brother die. A good negotiator doesn't bluff. If you cave on a threat, you lose all credibility, and Santiago knows I'm a good negotiator, so he won't die. Precisely because I'm willing to let him. You should sell the business. Excuse me? You would live. And you could take the proceeds and start a new business without your brother as a partner. It's a good deal. Benitez Builders is my father's legacy. He built it from nothing. He was committed, hardworking, honorable. He expected the same thing from both of us. My dad was difficult to please. I work hard to be someone that my father could be proud of. And I'm the one he trusted with the controlling share. I'd rather die than let him down. Is that bothering you? Yeah, a little bit. The graft is failing. Oh. What's happening? Infusing heparin. He's hypercoagulable. The tunnel catheter is going to clot off just like the graft. That gives him even less leverage. It should convince Santiago to accept his brother's offer. Santiago? Why him? I'm negotiating. With the wrong brother? The catheter's already obstructed. Whatever we're doing, it needs to happen in the next couple of days. We'll do a live donor drive. Okay. One in a hundred thousand chance of success, but better than planning his funeral. I think the odds are better than that. We don't need to find a match. We just need the parade of selfless family members to embarrass Armando into doing the right thing. <laughs>